Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. You guys have been asking me how I make the different labels that I have in my home. And today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to make home organizing labels. Now this video is sponsored by my favorite tool to make home organization labels, and that is Cricut. So I'm gonna use the Cricut Joy Machine, which is so small yet so mighty, and we are gonna make those different labels. I'm gonna show you how incredibly simple it is with this little machine that can do so much. So if you guys are ready for it, let's jump into the first labels because I'm excited to make over some of my spaces. The first type of label that we're gonna be making today, they are my favorite. They're all throughout my apartment. If you've ever watched my videos before, you know that I love vinyl labels. And I'm planning on upgrading my shower containers today to these uniform bottles. So I'm gonna make some that say shampoo, conditioner, body wash and a face wash. And I'm going to also make two more because I have a couple of extras that say hand soap and put those throughout my apartment as well. This is gonna be really easy with the Cricut Joy. You just need a standard grip mat and some vinyl. I'm gonna go with black because I think it's really gonna pop on that white. Or you can even use Cricut sells a smart vinyl that doesn't even require a mat. So that makes it even easier and I'm gonna show you the process. I'm going to make this one using the Cricut Design Space on my phone and show you how simple it is. Do you miss me at all? Once you have the font selected that you want, and I chose this rounded font, you're going to type in the exact wording that you want your labels to be. And what I really like about the mats or the back of all of the Cricut Smart Vinyl is that there is a grid pattern, so you can use that to measure your space. So I just wanted to measure it out and make sure I was doing the appropriate size for what I wanted. And I was thinking a pretty delicate label, so I wanted them a little bit smaller. And since I'm just using standard vinyl, I'm going to add it onto my mat load it into the Cricut Joy machine and press the start button and you'll watch it cut away. I've sped this up, but it is so cool watching your creations come to life and watching the Cricut machine just work away. It doesn't take long at all. And you can watch the progress on the Cricut design space, whether you're on your phone or your computer and watch it progress. And then you'll be able to eject the mat from your phone as well. I'm just gonna cut the portion I need so I can save the rest of the vinyl for later and peel away all of the excess that I don't need. And this process is called weeding and I'm using a little Cricut weeding tool here to get rid of all of the inside spots of the O's, the D's, the B's, the P's, and all of those letters. And you can tell the smaller the font is and the more delicate the font is, the more tedious this process can be. But even with these very small labels, it's not a problem at all. And I was still able to do it relatively easy. The next step is to cut your transfer tape to the size that you need it. And you're going to lay it flat on top of your labels. I'm using this little tool to help push out any air bubbles and make sure those labels are really pressed on nice and firm to the transfer tape. And then we're going to peel off that transfer tape. The letters should come with it and apply it onto my bottles. Once it's applied to the surface that you wanna put your label on, you're gonna give it a nice and good rub to then release the label or those letters from your transfer tape onto the surface that you wanna apply it to and slowly peel back that transfer tape at about a 45 degree angle and it should peel off just perfectly. I think a lot of people get intimidated by crafting machines like this one, 
but I really want you to know that this project took less than 15 minutes and the first time that I made vinyl labels it did take me a tiny bit longer to figure out the process but once you have it down it is so quick and easy and I love that I can customize home organization labels throughout my home especially with this Cricut Joy machine and if you use those smart vinyl labels where you don't even have a mat there's just less materials less that you have to take out it doesn't take up a bunch of space so if you don't have a craft room or anything like that the Cricut Joy is a perfect solution. Now I wanna put these bottles into action. So I'm gonna start filling them up. I'm gonna fill up my hand soap one as well as my conditioner. I like using these types of bottles and making custom labels because then I can buy in bulk or buy products that have maybe less packaging. So the shampoo that I switched to is Puracy and you'll see that the conditioner is also Puracy. That is their normal size bottle. But now that I know that I like it, they sell their refills in these little bags that you can then use to refill your bottles. So you don't have to keep buying more plastic bottles. So once you have these refillable bottles, you can buy in bulk or buy products that have less packaging. You'll see I did have some old amber glass bottles that I was using in my bathroom. My husband thought I was absolutely crazy for using glass bottles in the shower and tub and I've had them for years. They haven't broken in the sense that they haven't fallen and shattered, but the pumps are getting really old. I don't think they were the best quality, so I just decided to opt for plastic this time. It's a little bit easier in the shower and we don't have to worry about it breaking and I like the black and white look a lot more. I think it kind of fits my style more. It's a little bit sleeker. And I really love how the labels turned out because they're so subtle compared to the large labels I had before, which I also used a Cricut for and used white vinyl. So let me know which one you like better, the amber with the large white labels or the black and white with the kind of more subtle, simple labels. Nothing can break me. Project, I'm going to be making some labels to stick on all of these photo organizers that I have. I have a lot of different craft items in here. So I'm going to use Cricut's Smart Label. And this is a product that doesn't require a mat like the vinyl labels that we just did do. So I'm going to try and cut out a label shape and pick something kind of fun and then use a marker to write on what the item is and then stick it right onto the photo organizer. So it's going to be a two-step process, but I promise it's going to be easy just like the last one was. So let's get started with this one. Within the Cricut design space, I am going to actually add an image here and I'm going to browse all images and select label and see what we can find under that category. And I'm going to filter it. You'll see that there's actually tons and tons of different things in here but I want to see what's actually already in the Cricut design space. So I am going to go to ownership and look at ones that are free or already purchased. And then I can use these for free. So I think I want a simpler shape. I kind of think I like this one. So I'm going to select that and press insert. And I think we can zoom in a little bit. I am going to change the material color. So I'm going to double tap on it and change the vinyl to white because that is the 
color I'm using. And then we're going to add text. I'm going to do the same text and I'm going to say essential oils. And then I'm just going to go through and make a bunch of these and show you how I cut them and draw on them. I'm going to do the same thing I did with my bottles and I'm going to take the smart mat and use that as a little bit of a ruler so I don't have to take out an actual ruler and measure the space that I have and how big I want these labels to be. I'm going to make sure I have all five labels on my design space and then I have all five of the wording that I want and I'm going to change that wording and make sure it says draw instead of cut because I want to use the Cricut pen to draw on them and I'm going to let the machine know what material I'm using and look how cool this is. I can take the blade out and there's actually a magnet built into the Cricut Joy so you don't lose track of that blade and you can pop it right on the side there. I'm loading in my pen first. The design space tells you exactly what steps to do so it told me that it was going to draw first. I knew to add my pen in there and it's gonna do the drawing step and once it's done, it'll stop and prompt you to add the cutting blade in and then it will go in and cut out the labels. So this is not a style that I do super often. I do the vinyl labels a lot, but I like that this is different and I like that it kind of pops a little bit more and it was kind of fun for a craft space. So let me know if you like this style of label or the vinyl or you feel like they're both applicable for different reasons. What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us, us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be Because of the shape that I picked for this label, it did have kind of two parts to it, this little border part, and then the middle part of the label. If I were to do this again, I would probably pick a little bit of a simpler label so there wasn't those two parts. It was just an added extra step. It does look really nice when it comes all together, but it was a little more tedious trying to get that border especially to lay completely flat. But once I got through the first one, I think I got a lot better at it and it was much easier and I think it looks pretty good. I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. Something that goes beyond us. Us, us Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work After making this type of label, like I said, I haven't done it a whole lot. I feel like I have so many thoughts going through my head of different places that I want to add these types of labels. And don't forget that you can always change up the font, you can change up the colors that you're using, and really get creative. Work it out. No, no. What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. This last project will hopefully help you solve some labeling problems that you might have if you have any fabric bins that don't have a great spot to attach a label to. So like this one has a small little round hole here. Oftentimes I use bin clips, but they have a larger back and spot to clip on. I could always clip it on top, but don't love the way that looks. And with these, I just use vinyl labels. But when you have fabric, you can actually use iron on and iron straight on to the fabric material that you have. So if you guys know, I am a part-time figure skating coach as well. So in this bin, I have all of my 
coaching and skating supplies, and I found this Smart Iron-On, so another thing that you don't need a mat for, and it is a multicolored glitter, and I thought it would be perfect to have for my skating bin and leave it skating because skating is all sparkly and it just works great. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. Another very easy project. This project is really similar to the vinyl labels. I'm gonna type out the word that I want, skating, and find a cut color that kind of matches my material. I'm using this holographic one, so I'm gonna kind of pick a purple that matches close enough to it so the machine recognizes it. I'm gonna let it know I'm not using a mat because I'm using the Smart Iron-On. And the important thing to do here when you're using the Iron-On is to make sure you mirror your cut so it'll look like it's backwards, but don't worry, it'll all come together, but it's a very important step to make sure you mirror your images. And you'll see how Cricut just guides you through each and every step. This is really not complicated. Like I said before, each of these projects takes less than 15 minutes. I'm gonna empty out all of the supplies so I can fold this down. I'm gonna start my Easy Press Mini on the number two setting. There are different heat settings depending on the type of material that you're using, but it's basically like a little mini iron that's gonna help you with all of your iron-on projects. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the vinyl, which is weeding away the parts of the material that I don't need, so everything around the word skating and then those little spots in between the words and making sure I get those out. With the Easy Press, I like to heat up the actual material that I'm applying the label to, then lay the label flat on that warm surface and just kind of move it around. Like I said, a little mini iron. They do have a large Easy Press as well that if you're gonna be making t-shirts or bigger items, that would work really well for you. But I do like the versatility of this mini one so you can get in smaller areas with it. Make sure you get the entire label, all of the letters, all of the corners, and then you should let it cool completely before you start to peel it away. And you'll see when I peel it away how perfectly it comes off and how easy it was. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you liked seeing how I make my home organization labels. I am gonna link everything below in the description box. So if you're interested in purchasing the Cricut Joy or any of the accessories that I used, you can find that there. And don't forget that there are so many other things that you can do with these Cricut machines beyond making labels. So make sure to head to their website and check out all of the different arts and crafts and fun things that you guys can do with it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you do that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you guys later.